Hi, I'm Marcus Gummer. I'm the Executive Coordinator of the Secretariat of the Internet Governance Forum. We're standing here in the grounds of the Palais des Nations in Geneva and we're looking back at the consultations we held at the end of February and the uh, meeting of the multi-stakeholder advisory group, the MAG as it is known. We made uh, good progress in preparing the meeting at Charm El Sheikh, which will be held in November this year. We managed to agree on a broad outline uh, of the program, uh, which uh, will build on what we had in Hyderabad, and we also discussed the next steps. What may be of interest to you is we have set a deadline of 15th of April for the submission of workshop proposals. This time we chose a different approach. We're not asking for fully fledged proposals, but for outlines of themes of uh, workshops of what you would like to see dealt with at the meeting in Sharm El Sheikh. You may also submit pro uh, proposals for themes, even if you don't want to organize it. If just a theme you're interested in, and if you would like others to pro uh, prepare a workshop around that theme. The program will start in Sharm El Sheikh with a session that will explain what the IGF is all about, will explain what internet governance is all about and will also for newcomers will be interesting because it will explain how the uh, IGF works and uh, what the, how the program is set up. And we will end that first session with a slot that allows regional and national meetings which have become increasingly important to report in. In the afternoon of the first day we will have the usual opening ceremony and opening session and we will f finish the afternoon with a, a high level uh, panel which will discuss issues uh, relevant to development. It was also suggested that we should look at the economic downturn and how it affects the internet. Day two and three will deal with the substantive issues. We have not yet defined the exact themes, but the morning uh, of the second day will be uh, open dialogue session on critical internet resources and it was agreed that no issue should be excluded, however controversial it would be. The afternoon deals with the issues related to uh, security and openness and how to find the balance between open privacy, openness and security. Uh, issues that were mentioned in this regard include uh, issues related to Web 2.0, Facebook, social networking and so on. Uh, on the morning of the third day we will look at access. Again uh, there are some issues that are more mature and uh, there may be some action coming out of it whereas other issues will need some deepening. And the afternoon of the first day uh, will be uh, left for round tables to report in. This is one of the innovation we are discussing. We found that some themes are mature enough, uh, there is a reasonable amount of consensus around these themes and they should be dealt with differently and the round table format was found to be a possible way of dealing with these themes and there is hope that uh, maybe some solutions, uh, some agreement on solutions or principles can be found by those involved. However, there is a clear distinction that there will not be an output by the IGF, but an output coming out of the IGF on a voluntary basis, as the IGF has no legislative mandate. Issues that were singled out were the empowerment and protection of children, uh, and also access for people with disabilities. On the last day, we devote the morning to a discussion on the issue of the uh, desirability of the continuation of the forum, as it is stipulated by the Tunis Agenda, Para 76. So we discuss that for three hours and we will have to prepare this discussion. Uh, the afternoon, then, we have the final ceremony and the closing ceremony. Uh, and one sl slot has been left open in the afternoon of the last day. We can discuss then when time co comes nearer what we want to fill it. And it might also be a good idea to fill it with something that is topical and we don't know yet what might be topical shortly before the meeting of Sharm El Sheikh. 
So what we like you to do is also send us in uh, your comments on how to conduct the consultations on the continuation or not of the mandate of the IGF. We will post a questionnaire as a kickstart the discussion. We have read out the questionnaire during the consultations in Geneva, but uh, your opinions are welcome and we will synthesize these opinions in a document that will be renewed in light of new uh, comments coming in and we will revisit it at our next open consultations on the 13th of May and we hope you will be there. Hi, I'm Chengitai Masango and I am the Technology and Program Manager in the Secretariat of the Internet Governance Forum. During the last consultations, we had improved our remote participation. Uh, during the consultations, there was a YouTube chat ch channel, hash IGF, which uh, participants made to in inform those people who could not make it to the consultation about what was going on. And we are very encouraged by this. For Shamal Sheikh, we would want to improve um, the remote participation. We are continuing the excellent cooperation that we've had with the working group on remote participation from Hyderabad last year. Uh, this year at the consultations, they organized a Twitter group and a live Twitter channel, and they were twittering during the consultations, informing those people who were unable to make it what was going on in the consultations. We are also in communications with them on the Sham El Sheikh um, remote participation, particularly dealing with the remote hubs. If you're interested in setting up a remote hub or getting involved with remote participation, please contact either the Remote Participation Working Group or the IGF Secretariat and we'll see what we can do together to make the Sham El Sheikh remote participation experience the best one yet.